Welcome to Resurrection Los Angeles as we bring to you the living word of God. And I'm Brian William Hewitt and welcome to Sunday Praise <clears throat> and blessings and happy Easter on this beautiful Sunday day here as we spread you this sh sharing of Resurrection Sunday on this blessed day. And again, I'm Brian William Hewitt. We're going to be just jumping into the word very quickly here. And just getting the day going and on this beautiful festive holiday weekend. We'll be starting out with Mark 16, 1 through 7. And before we get going, let's get going in the word of prayer. Dear Lord, we love you. We lay our hearts before you with the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind, one judgment of Christ. We thank you for the new mercies of this beautiful day. As you laid them upon us, as you love for our prayers, repentance, forgiveness, we think for those that you do to us, and those that you say, in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. He is risen. He is risen. From the valleys where, where we get our strength to the mountaintops, where we sing hallelujah. So we get, get right into Mark 16, 1 through 7. And when the Sabbath was was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome, have brought sweet spices that might come and anoint him, meaning Jesus. And early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came into the sepulchre and the ri at the rising of the sun, and said among themselves, Who shall roll away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? When they looked, they saw the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right hand, at the right side, clothed in a white garment, and they were afraid. Be not afraid, he said unto them, Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here, but behold, the place where he laid where he where he laid him. But go but go your way. Tell his disciples and Peter yes. that that goeth before you into Galilee. Mm -hmm. There shall ye see him as he said unto you. As the Lord Jesus said unto him to his disciples as he is saying unto us, He is risen. He still speaks alive and deep into us twenty four hundred years later. We speak of the love, we speak of the truth, we speak of the time and the courageousness and the creativity that bestows upon us every day just to reach out and to grasp and to flow with us. And let this service today be your altar call for those who don't know Christ. Come, let these words that are flowing from me from, from the mountaintop be your altar call to, to fall onto your neology, your knees, and to come forward in the name of Jesus Christ for that new life. For Job, Job 19.25 says, says it all. For I know my Redeemer liveth, at, liveth, and he shall stand at the later day upon the earth. Yes, yes, yes. I'll say it again. For I know my Redeemer. My, I know my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at the later day upon the earth. That's Job 19 verse 25. We are redeemed on this earth. Let us focus on our reality of our redemption with God. We are redeemed. We seek each time the endless rhyme of God's love and we see it and we know it and we feel for it each and every day. So let's flow with it. Let's go with it. And the blessings of the presence of the Almighty God. Acts 3.15 And killed the Prince of, of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. We are witnesses because we have the Holy Spirit living deep inside of us. We are witnesses because we have that unmatchable, unshakable truth, that fire burning deep inside all of us right here and right now. We seek that time we seek that love. We seek that presence going deeper and deeper into our lives, into our foundations, ever so much 
of that strength. Romans 6, 4. Therefore we are buried by the baptism unto death. The like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in, into the newness of life. Walking into the newness of God's life. Walking into that new life, throwing away that old stony heart that God's turned into dust, and receiving that new heart as prophesied in the book of Ezekiel. Giving that time, that new life of grace, we're moving into this time right now, brethren. Right now. We are seeking a love and a world that wants to replace love with hate. We have so many terrorist attacks going over the world that it's becoming <clears throat> almost common. 68 children were killed two days ago out of a total of 126 killed in a bus attack. The Prince of Peace is there before us to take the victory and to spread that from one street corner to another, from one pew seat to another, and to make a change from starting at within the church and for taking it outside the doors <clears throat> and to take it over the street corners, the neighborhoods, the treetops, the mountaintops, the valleys, and everywhere. We cannot lose control of our own senses, our own realities, when there are many distractions ever so changing around us. Nor can we blame the world of technology for these distractions when we are in abundance of our own control of saying yes and no. We take too many excuses of blaming why we made this decision or that decision when, when we are in charge of our own decision making. When we say, well, I didn't know that, I didn't know that, know that. We do know that. We do know the difference between right and wrong. Matthew 19, verse 20. Go ye therefore. This is Jesus teaching. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I hope I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you until the end of time, the end of the world. Jesus is with us until the end of time, brethren, when he takes a good third of us home and takes us to the land of eternity, the land of milk and honey. This is your time, your love, your embrace. This is your first day, your first moment of your life, your first embrace with Christ who has always been around you, upon the stain, upon your love, and upon your nurturing truth. For in the marches name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, let's pray out in prayer. Dear Lord, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart. We thank the unity, Holy Spirit, to be a one mind, one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love, your truth, I the truth sets us free. We thank you for all that you do to us and all that you say to us. In Jesus' marches name. Brethren, I'm Brian William Hewitt. We thank you for your time. Until next time, 
We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day for the people and praise God, praise God and praise God. Amen.